Okay, take another shot at uh, move to different sectors in the map to reach points of interest. So I'm playing Starship Intruder, which is an entirely text parser based game. So power engines. No. Uh, okay, weight impulse. So there's the Holmgustren. I love how that's clearly the Enterprise. Firebolt. Oh, whoops. Well, that worked. Sorry about shooting you. Okay, so travel. Oh, wait, warp. I'll warp. Warp. Impulse two of two. No, impulse two. No? Good night, Pedro. Uh, warp online. No. Warp on. No. Question mark. Okay, so I played a lot of games like this as a kid. Like a lot of games just like this. And an interesting thing about these games is that they would generally have a manual that told you how to play it. So, fire phaser. So, I blew up a ship. And I guess I was supposed to. Oh, warp is online. Okay, so now I hit warp. Six. So, there's nothing to do with the mouse, huh? So, I blew up an enemy ship. That's good. Oh, shields. Shield. No. Uh, fly. Travel. Full power. Warp to sector four. Three, two, one. See, you would have a manual, right? And the manual would tell you how to play the game and it would tell you like the various commands you could do and you could always press like type question mark or hit f1 to get a list of commands oh can i hit f1 to get a list of commands oh i've been hitting f1 okay no okay go like it's it's a nice flashback to an older time of how to of video games right but it's not telling me how to play it, which is an issue. Uh, fire. Drive. Go. Tower. Why did I write tower? Fire photon. Nice! Is able to fire photon for torpedo. Why, though? Why would I do that? Why would I do anything? Turn. 180. Uh, rotate 180. Rotate 90. Huh. Oh! Oh, nice. So there's a loophole so pubs can reopen if they're also a restaurant. But most of them are. So nice. Okay. I guess I'm familiar with the concept of pub food. Warp core. Ooh, hey. Purge warp core. Purge warp core. That didn't do anything. Let's try to self-destruct. Self-destruct. Direct. Explode. Start. Restart. Oh, we're going to try something now. So on the Steam Store page, there were some examples of commands. 
Aha. Send landing team. Landing team to planet. Oh, that didn't work. There's a ship coming towards you. I see him. Uh, fire phaser. Oh, we're not in great shape. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, so, go to planet. Yay, it worked! Land on planet. Nope. Uh, yeah, we can try Monday working. Uh, beam down landing party. I wrote party. You know why people were really happy when DOS games and stuff like that stopped? This. Yeah, no. Trying no to figure one out missed commands. this. It's true. It's a weird thing to do a tribute to. Okay. What are we waiting for exactly? All right. Beam up landing party. And inside we got nothing. Nothing happened. Okay. Report. No. I'll try it. Blow up. Uh, blow up planet. Nope. All right. Move to sector eight. What sector am I in? Am I in now? Oh, I see. Move to Sector 6. The sectors are what part of the screen is. Okay, so go to one. Move to Sector 1. Wait, does that say it has a defense satellite? No, I'm sure we're fine. No, that's a defense satellite. Fire bolt. Okay, that was bad. Repair ship. Okay, I seem to be leaking something. That's not good. Uh, fire photon. Oh. Why is it coming back? Oh, it's a homing missile. Good. Well, that's something. Yes. Fire bolt. Fire bolt. Woo! Go to planet. Go to warp. Oh no. Fire photon. Come on, work, 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 work. Oh, that was close. Although I probably should have let him uh, move to sector two. Probably should have let the uh, satellite attack my foe. That would have been smarter. Uh, I don't think Battle Chance Enhanced is on Steam. We'll check in a second. Fire Bolt. Can I fire Beam? No, I don't have a Beam. Running out of Bolts. Oh, they got me. Starship Intruder. All right, so this has been Starship Intruder, a game that maybe should have been left in the 1980s. Uh, it would be great if you showed instructions in the actual game rather than make me go to a website. Like, I appreciate your um, devotion to making it like those old-timey games, but the difference is those old-timey games came with a manual that told you how to play the game. 
And since manuals aren't a thing anymore, you got to put a tutorial in your game. Do that, and I will actually tell people to be curious about this so they can see what games were actually like uh, back in the 80s. For now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots go in the comment section below the video. I'm going to see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.